Okay, so let's continue. First, I wanted to see, I wanted to show you something. This is a pro tip for all of you who use Telegram. There's this option here, enable or disable notifications. <laughs> you don't have to quit Telegram to just turn it off. Of course, that's an option as well, but you know. Right. So prepare your hands. There's going to be lots of hand clapping. <laughs> this is the closing session. And as you all you know, we all get up on stage and we clap and cheer and everything is nice and dandy. Of course, we still have the sprints tomorrow, so uh, we are, would like to invite all of you to the sprints tomorrow. Uh, this is a, a screenshot of the, the sprint page that we currently have. I would like to ask all the, the people who um, basically showed what they want to do tomorrow before the lightning talks to update this page and put all of, all of the sprints on that page. And then, of course, uh, once we have the rooms assigned, then we can also put the rooms there so everyone can find. Sorry? I can fix that. <laughs> I maintain the Python wiki, so I, yeah. Anyway, one of the many million things that I do. Um, these are a few statistics. Um, you know, numbers, right? So we sold more tickets than last year, which is nice. We have more attendees than last year, which is nice as well. Uh, we are growing very slowly, which is nice as well, I think at least. I, I would like the conference to, you know, remain at this level because this is um, the, the, the number of people that we have at the conference is still at a size where you can actually meet people. You don't have to, you know, organize meetings with people to meet someone. You can to see them in the hallway and then talk to them, which I find very, a very good thing for a conference, especially a community one. We had 26 sponsors, less than last year, but we still made enough money to actually make the conference affordable. We have a huge number of new members on Telegram group, which is excellent. So this is really, I think, uh, something, a good decision that we, we started this Telegram group and we're gonna keep it, also after the conference, of course. Again, thank you to all our sponsors who made this possible. So a big hat for them. <laughs> Especially to MongoDB. I don't know if we have any MongoDB people here. No, I don't see any. So they are <laughs> already left. Packing up, preparing for next year. So who is making all this happen? As you know, just a few people, just 16 people. And these are the people I'd like to, I'd like to call out all of those people on the stage if they are here. Unfortunately, a lot of people have already left or did not even have a chance to attend the conference. So uh, give them a big hand as well, remotely. So please come up here. And please, all the on-site volunteers come up on the stage as well. Everyone with a yellow t-shirt, all the ones who left their yellow t-shirt at home uh, in the hotel. We had 65 volunteers sign up. These three were the most active ones. So a big hand for them as well. And also, thank you to our photographer. He's come up on the stage as well. First, do a few photos, though. Oh, he's here already. So, yeah, this is it.
Okay, thank you. So next year, we had many questions of where it's going to be next year. So I have to tell you, we don't know either. So the, the way that's going to work is that we're going to send out requests for proposals to various different venues, and then we're going to collect them, we're going to review them, we're going to see whether they make sense or not, whether the prices are right or not. So it's going to take a bit, a few months to, to finish that process. Once we're there, we will then announce where it is going to be. And of course, once we start the organization, we will again need more people to help. We need people before the conference. We always need people at the conference because that's the only way we can make this happen. No one gets paid for this. So we all do this in our free time. And of course, uh, there isn't that much free time. So if you want to help with this, then please write to board at europython.eu and then uh, we can integrate you in one of those work groups. Please also mention which kinds of work groups you want to work in. So we have communication, we have administration, finance, com uh, we have website. All the different areas uh, of the conference are covered by work groups. And most of them uh, need help. So yeah, please consider doing this. Uh, I also want to give our code of conduct report, which we do every year. So we had one reported conduct issue, inappropriate behavior. Uh, I don't, I never go into details of what it was about, but it wasn't as serious as uh, one of the issues that we had a couple of years ago. We had one reported communication issue, which was uh, someone spamming speakers. So again, we would like to remind everyone that we, we actually don't want this to happen at the conference. We want to have the count to be zero. Um, but unfortunately, it always, you know, sometimes people um, overstep certain rules and, and so we then step in as a code of conduct group and then solve these issues together with the people involved. So that's the code of conduct report. European Society, the organization behind the, the uh, organization of this conference and also supporting the European Python community. Uh, you can become a member, it's free. You just have to sign up, we vote you in and you're in. We currently have 236 members, so not that many. Ideally, we would like all the Europython attendees to be members. So if you want to join, then please go to the website and join. We want to say thank you to the previous EPS, the Europython Society Board. These were the people on the previous board. We had the General Assembly at this conference. We voted in a new board. So, but before going there, please give them a hand as well, because some of these people could not make it to the conference, even though they did a lot of work. Like, for example, Alexander, he couldn't make it. Daria couldn't make it. Um, and the other people are here now, so you just saw them on the stage, I hope. Some of them have already left. Um, so Valeria is not here anymore, for example. We voted in a new board for the next term. This is our new board. And I'd like to ask the new board up on stage so that you can put some faces to these names. So these people are going to be responsible for running the next, the Europython 2020 conference. So we have Martin on the right, Anders next, Rachel, Jakob, Sylvia, Angel, and myself. <laughs> if you've counted correctly, you see that one person is missing, and that's Stefan Bertel. Uh, he's a He's an excellent guy. He couldn't make it to this conference because his wife didn't let him. <laughs> he would have loved to come. Um, but he's going to be very helpful as well. So please give him a big hand. Right. So this is it. Thank <laughs> you.